So for today's video, Dan's crouching behind me. He's on the computer. I am going to be doing a workout clothing haul. Now, the reason this fits into Make It Happen May is because one of the things that both Dan and I have tried to make happen this month in May is starting to work out again. Now, I've always been pretty into working out. You guys know if you've been on my channel for a while that I used to be a full-blown dancer, like eight to 10 hours a day, classes, working out, working as a dancer, and I have had so many injuries over the years, including a knee surgery and hip surgery, that I don't dance anymore. So we took a break from working out for a while because my injuries were kind of flaring up, we wanted to rest, but I've given it some rest now and we're kind of jumping back in. So I thought it would be fun to pick out some workout clothes. Some stuff is really, really cute for spring. And some of these things I have been like super excited to get and I've wanted for a little while. So I'm really excited to show you. So I guess I'll just jump right in. So I'm gonna start with Target because that's where I did the bulk of my um, shopping at or whatever. So the first thing, you saw this if you follow me on Instagram, I am absolutely in love and for the days when I want to work out outside which I really like going on walks and working out outside um and it's gonna get a lot hotter here in the summer this is perfect this is actually a workout skirt Ooh, and it's got little bike shorts underneath so so cute you know I have a little bit of an obsession with like neon right now for some reason especially like neon pink so I really really like these this or this this skirt was like 15 to $20 somewhere in there. I don't remember because I accidentally ripped the tag off because I couldn't even wait to film this when I got it home. I just like put it right on. So that's the first thing. I love that. And right along the lines of workout skirts, which that was like the big thing I was excited to get for spring and summer were workout skirts because I feel like those were things that people only wore um, on the tennis courts before, but I think people are kind of, it's like okay to wear them now, like in regular working out. I mean, you can wear whatever you want to work out, but I don't know, they're selling them kind of everywhere now, so I'm excited. All right, so the next skirt is this black and gray workout skirt, and this one in the back kind of is more of a traditional like tennis skirt. P.S., by the way, these may just be tennis skirts, but I'm gonna wear them to work out. So the top, it kind of has like a little pocket in the back, um, pleating back there, and the rest of the skirt's kind of this net material. Just so, so cute. So two workout skirts, that's really exciting. Um, the next thing that I got is this top from Target, and I thought this was super cute. It's a top, workout top with a built-in bra and the racer back in the back, but it goes down like a baby doll top. How cute is that? And this was, how much was this? I wanna say it was like 25? Oh no, $18.99, this was $18.99. And it has the built-in sports bra, which is really nice, and this fabric is really light. Oh. Look at that, there's a drawstring. So if you don't want it to be like a loose, um, I didn't notice that, baby doll top, you can kind of tighten it up and have it be more of like a billowy or kind of crop it up, whatever you want. Um, and this skirt, which I didn't tell you the price of, I think this is 25, 26.99. So thanks Target. And then the other thing I got from Target, I got two bras at Target, two sports bras. The first one, surprise, surprise guys, I got a neon pink, with gray trim sports bra. Ooh, fancy. And these were on sale, these were two for 30. These are normally, I wanna say like, I don't have a price on these right now because I think that's just how they're gonna be selling them from now on is like two for 30. But I think they're normally like 25 bucks or they used to sell them for 25. And these bras are really, really great. I bought them before and they're awesome. Um, it says that they're Duo Dry Max Wicks Moisture Fast. Seamless, reduces chafing, ventilation for cooling, and four-way stretch moves with you. And I will say that's true. These are some really good sports bras. I mean, I haven't tried like a ton of sports bras, so maybe I just don't know what a good sports bra is, but I think these are good sports bras. I like them. They hold me in tight, but they're not uncomfortable. I think they're great. So um, those, that's all I picked up at Target. This actually is not a ginormous haul, but um, for just workout clothes, it feels like a lot to me. So the next thing I picked up, although I actually need to bring, I'm showing you these because I'm not gonna film a separate video, but I need to bring them back because I accidentally ripped a hole in them or there was like already a hole in them. Um, and these are no-show socks for working out and they're in neon colors, ooh. Uh, Dan actually found these for me when we were at Foot Locker picking up what I'm about to show you next. And I think it was Foot Locker. Dan, didn't we get my shoes at Foot Locker? That's really weird. 
I don't know where Dan went. Anyways, he saw these and he was like, Nikki, and he knew I'd love them and we did, we got them and I like them. But like I said, I actually have to exchange these for another batch because, oh, that's what it was. I took the little taggy out, but I specifically used scissors and I didn't pull or anything, but there was a hole from the front pair. So that's one thing you might want to be careful of if you pick them up, but hey, they're really cute. We'll find out when I get my second pair if that's just what those do or if they were defective or whatever. So. What I got at Lady, I really think it was Foot Locker, but I might be wrong. I got a new pair of tennis shoes. Now I have to say, I got a new pair last year. I don't really know what the appropriate, if you do know, you can put it in the comment section, like the appropriate amount of time you should have a pair of sneakers before you replace them. But I am just gonna kind of make it a habit from now on to replace them every year because I used to buy sneakers when I was younger and when I was dancing, which is the crazy part. So when I was actually really active and needed them, I would buy a cheap, cheap pair, like a pay less pair or I don't know, just a cheap pair of tennis shoes and then I would wear them for years. Like I didn't get the point of buying new tennis shoes. I was like, they're still wearable. What is the point? They don't have holes in them, they're fine. And when I lived in Singapore, I remember I wore a pair of tennis shoes. They were having us dance in tennis shoes, not in actual dance shoes. So I went to dance personal in my tennis shoes and everybody had these nice tennis shoes on. And I was like, wow, aren't you guys fancy? And they were like, oh, they feel amazing. I was like, really? I've had this pair for like seven years. And they were like, what? So anyways, long story short, I went out, I replaced the pair of tennis shoes. They felt so different from my old shoes, but I just wouldn't have noticed because you get used to them. So it made sense because when I used to dance and I was dancing on point shoes, I had to replace my point shoes like really, really frequently because my arch was so strong. Like other people would have to break their point shoes in, like bang on them or, you know, run them underwater or whatever. And I never did just because my arch is really like, I have a really like big point. To anyone who dances, you know what I mean. To people who don't, the point is my feet are really like arched. They wear things in fast. That was a long intro to say, <gasps> new tennis shoes. So I already showed these on Instagram. Instagram kind of sees everything a lot of times before YouTube does, but that's because it's like instant gratification. I can't help but put it up. But I'm obsessed with them. I love them. I will probably still use my pink shoes, but I don't know, for more intense working out, for lifting weights, I just, I want my feet to be supported so everything is in alignment. And I got these, they're really, really cute, and I like them a lot. Oh, by the way, I wanna say they were about $104, something really random like that. So, all right, the next thing I got is also an item that I am going to be exchanging, but I'm exchanging it for a different size, so I'm still gonna have this, and I didn't wanna wait to film the video. So I thought I'd just show you what I picked up. I picked up this Lululemon jacket, and this is very similar to the pink jacket that also, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I wear it a lot. I'm really obsessed with that type of cut and jacket. And the reason I'm exchanging this is because I bought it really fast when I was in New York. I kind of just threw it on, guesstimated. I was like, yeah, that works, that works, I'll buy it. But when I got home, I kind of realized I was like, oh, I kind of want it to fit a little tighter, like a little more snug. So I'm actually gonna exchange this for a smaller size um, just so that the fit's a little tighter. And yeah, but I like the color. It's like a blue mint kind of really pretty color. So um, yeah, so that is my workout clothing haul. I hope that you guys have been, you know, getting active or just moving towards your goals this month and making them tangible steps. Things that make you feel good, things that move you forward. Like I said, for me, I really have wanted to get more active again this month and this may seem lame, but this actually helps. I've been moving forward. I've been moving and working out every day and I hope you guys are having fun kind of moving towards your goals and hopefully achieving them, yay. So I am gonna go and I guess edit this video now because this is yet another video I'm filming today and putting up today. So I'm gonna go edit this video, um, drink my tea, try not to have another allergy attack and I will see you all on Friday. Have a great day guys, bye.